106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. What is this? I don't know. I think I may have hit the wrong button. What kind of music is this? It sounds to me like you hit the right button. <laughs> so we're going to explain the new theme song here in a second. Yep. Uh, we got a, a lot to cover today. Yeah, we do. But uh, let's uh, let's get started here. So yes, that's Jeff. I'm Derek. This is the Rhythm Section Podcast, where we talk to uh, musicians in the greater Memphis area. Yeah. And as a way to help support the community and also uh, talk nonsense. Um, Jeff. Where can people find us? Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Apple, uh, Spotify, and Stitcher. And YouTube is the preferred method. Yes, as we've talked at nauseum, yep. YouTube is our channel's monetized. So the more yep. you patronize the channel, the better it is for us. Um, and also uh, every Monday, 6 p.m. Central, YouTube, Facebook, that's when our full length video drops. Yep. And then every Monday morning, you can get the audio presentation on Apple, Spotify, and all the other major platforms. Right. Uh, this is uh, pre recorded at SRP Studios in Hernando, Mississippi, uh, and Shelby Row Productions. If you're looking to start a podcast, Go to ShelbyRoadProductions.com, sign up for that free consultation, and we'll figure something out. Yep. Also, Patreon is another way we support this channel or this uh, podcast. Uh, find the link in our description. It will take you to Patreon where you can sign up for premium content behind a paywall. Well, the only tier we have is called the tip jar. It's a dollar yeah. a month. We have some new ones to announce today, too. Uh, so a dollar a month, $12 a year. Uh, you'd be surprised at how much that helps. If uh, one million of you do it, oh, man, we're doing good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, as always, parental discretion is advised. Yes, it is. And I, and I know it's needed for this one because we've already, we just interviewed our guest. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a little <clears throat> bit of swear. So bit. we need some discretion there. It happens. Dude, let's talk about, well, first, we got Tony Meharry on today, yep. uh, drummer for uh, Amber McCain Band. Mm -hmm. uh, so we came in to interview him and get his story and everything, but we're also talking about a very important benefit for his wife, Amber, yep. um, that we will get into more detail here at the end of this intro. And then, of course, in the interview, we talk uh, more about it there. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we got some patrons to announce. We have all kinds of cool things to talk about. But before we get to anything else, yeah. we got to talk about this. Agreed. What is going on? Um, it's pretty badass. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let's kick it back in under us. Yeah. So, um, Sean Few mm -hmm. approached us a, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. About a song that he did with Jimmy Falp. Yeah. And was in, wondering if we'd be interested in uh, using it on the podcast. And I said, fuck you, man. I don't want to do this shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, no, we were like, absolutely. So we finally got the track just today. Yeah. And, uh, and so, wasted no time yeah. getting it prepared. And they let me tweak and edit it a little bit. So yeah. we have like a nice seven minute yeah. version so we can flap our gums over it. Right. Uh, but let's give some credits, Jeff. So yeah. this was recorded at American Studios. Yep. I didn't get a year. I didn't get a time. I didn't either. Yeah. It was written by Sean Few, yep. who we all know from formerly known as and uh, Six Feet Thunder. Six Feet Thunder, uh, Black, Black Fifty Nine. <laughs> that's that's ancient stuff. Ancient there. stuff, but yeah. Jimmy Falp on drums, also Six Feet Thunder. Yeah, um, and Play Rough. That's ancient. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, Sean's playing the bass. And the guitar. Yep. All that guitar you're hearing is also Sean. Uh, Jim, Jimmy's doing the jazz flute. That's right. Yeah. No, I cut that part out. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's Yaw's flute, right? <laughs> Something like that. And then uh, Jason Latshaw uh, produced and engineered it. Yeah. So credit to them. You yes. Know? And uh, we're excited because this, I mean, this is killer. Yeah. It sounds really good in these headphones, too. Yeah. I mean, it's a badass song. Thank you, Sean and Jimmy. For sure. And, and Jason for producing it. Um, so... What we're going to do is, uh, obviously, this is our new theme music. So you're going to hear it on the front end and back end, intro and outro and everything. Yep. But the music that we play that bridges us from the intro to the interview is called bumper music yeah. in the radio world. It's All the right. radio term. So we're going to continue with our old theme music for that. Yeah. So now we have two, uh, two songs, two pieces of music right. that have a purpose. So... Uh, and I think it's cool because we just it differentiates things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're happy to have it. And uh, like, I mean, just listen to how it sounds. 
Yeah. And Sean sent this to me um, over my phone, and I really didn't even give you a chance to respond. I just said, hell yeah, I want to use it. Of but, course, yeah. But yeah. I said, yeah, I got to send it to Derek just to make sure. And yeah. I sent it to you, and you immediately responded with, well, that's a no-brainer. Oh, yeah, of course. And it was for done. sure. Yeah. You know, so, all right. So uh, thanks again yeah. to Jimmy and Sean for letting yeah. us use this song. We're very excited to have it and mm -hmm. honored. It's yeah. just, I mean, how cool is this, Jeff? Yeah. I mean, oh. we this podcast is, what, two months old? Yep. And we've already built all these relationships, and and, uh, and now they're giving us music to play. And it shows that we're here to support Memphis music, and Memphis music is here to support us. Yeah. It's yeah. just... it's Full just, circle, baby. It's awesome. All right, enough of that shit. Jeez. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Um, Awesome, man. So we got the theme song now and um, Tony Meharry coming up soon. But Jeff, as usual, you have a, a couple things that you would like to discuss. Yeah, it'll be really quick. Um, I've, I've mentioned on a little Zoom call that we did uh, yesterday or day before. I don't know. It's all running together. But um, Memphis Music Room, Johnny Bennett. Um, this is a, a killer facility. The Memphis music community needs to take advantage of this thing. Huge facility for rehearsing. Uh, there are small rooms to rehearse for for your local shows. There's a huge stage and a huge auditorium to to rehearse for a big show that you might be doing. Um, there are going to be shows there, and I'm going to try and help mm -hmm. facilitate a really big one. Again, that, full circle. That helps yeah. Memphis Music Room, help, helps the bands, give yes. them a place to play. Mm -hmm. But I, I envision a day, uh, an afternoon and evening of of all Memphis bands. Yeah. Playing at this facility, um, that's not deep into discussion yet, but mm -hmm. it's 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 coming. I don't know the exact building number, but it's on Shelby Oaks Drive. It's the old, off of Sycamore Ave. Yeah, it's the old Shriners building. Yes, it's in between Sycamore and uh, what's the name of the oh, shit? No, see, <laughs> you can't do this to me. Yeah, but they. Look, they've got their liquor license. Mm -hmm. I know that's important to musicians. Mm -hmm. Summer, summer <laughs> half, summer half. <laughs> so there it is, summer half. Um, yeah. So you, I mean, it's a it's a full service venue, mm -hmm. like like anything. And yeah. it's we need to be supporting this guy, and, and it's going to be big for. And Memphis. we've had the pleasure of rehearsing there several times in the yep. big room and the small room. Yes, and, we did. And he's an awesome person. Yeah. Um, he's a he's a very talkative man. If you want to shoot a music video there, it is mm -hmm. that kind of facility. Huge stage, big huge lights. Uh, you can shoot a legit mm -hmm. music video in this place. Follow their page, yeah. Memphis Music Room on Facebook. Absolutely. Follow them. Give it a follow. Give it a like. Patronize their posts. Share yep. away. You know the drill. Everything you guys do for us, do it for them. which is amazing what yep. you guys do for us, Yep, uh, do that for them. And so. the only other thing that I have is Midnight Train from Memphis. Their guitar player, Chris Hinkle, um, he recently had surgery. So uh, give some love to Chris. We're praying for you, brother. Hope everything is great. Can't wait to see you back out on the stage doing what you love. Yes, yes. It's a little weird going into this sound coming out of that, but we got yeah. some new patrons. <laughs> so uh, we have two people, two new ones. Awesome. That have signed on to the the uh, tip jar. Right. We got Katrina Owens. Sweet. Show off the, yeah. show off the mug. Yeah, there's our tumbler that Katrina did for us there. Bye. There we go. Did a coffee mug. Love it. So uh, thank you, Katrina. And then uh, Brandon Marie. Awesome. Yeah. Thank man. you, Brandon. So, uh, and, and we're not trying to create a competition or anything, but I think those guys are doing $200 a month. Yeah. So I mean, they, if you want to beat them. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's a it. hell of a tip. Yeah. That's, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. I mean, no, do, help dollar a month, bit. folks, really. A dollar a month is, is <laughs> huge for us. It helps. It's awesome. And we do appreciate it. It shows us that you're paying attention and, and that you want to help. And you know? I know I've seen you guys in the past in strip clubs sticking dollars in G-strings. You can afford it. <laughs> Put them in our G-strings. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I'm a... Did not. No. Wrong sound, mm. Derek. This is what I was supposed to say or play. After our G-strings. Yeah! I'm still yeah. trying to figure out how to run the soundboard uh, here. The, the, I've the, only the, been doing this for years. The denied one probably works, too. <laughs> <laughs> ah! It's the theme of today. Yes. We're doing this on a Monday. Yeah, it's an Which odd, odd is totally, you know, throwing me off here. But all right, okay. now we have something really cool to show. It's a show and tell. Yes, it is. Segment here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we... 
went out on New Year's Eve Eve to Neil's. Now let's show the picture and we'll explain here. Ah. So we uh, there's a framed picture. Let's try to get the see if the glare. Oh, oh, there we go. Is that better? So that is Fast Mothers. Yeah. Um, Sean Few mm-hmm. and me and you on the stage yep. at Neil's New Year's Eve Eve. They had a, a cool show and yep. uh, and with the Fast Mothers heavyweight championship belt. Yes. And uh, it was a fun night, and we had talked about this moment in the last intro or two intros ago. Right. And I was like, why didn't we show it? Put the picture up. Right. So now, Alex, if you could please put a big uh, full picture on the screen so everyone could get a really good shot of it. Yeah. And uh, that was a special time for us. It was a really fun night. It was. And this is something that we are going to be doing a lot of in the future is hanging f- photographs in the mm-hmm. studio. Um, this is the very first one because it was so epic and it was such a great <laughs> night. And <laughs> I, I, I instantly had to go get that printed and framed. But there will be many others because there's so many musicians we're getting to meet. Oh, it's great. And we're going to take pictures with a lot of people. And, 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 and then stuff like this happens. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. So thank you uh, to the Fast Mothers. Yeah. And Sean Few. Do you mind doing the names? I'm afraid to try to say everybody's name. Oh, this is <laughs> now you're throwing me under the bus. <laughs> no, I got this. Uh, Wayne Walker, Cricket Warren, Chris and Tracy Rubel, and Jim John Davis. John Davis. Damn yes. it. See, I knew I'd screw somebody. Sorry, up. John. And then Sean Few. Of course, is in you the screw up the bass player. I mean, I, I, we never yeah. get any respect on huh, John. I know. Drummers Ever. don't either, but it, it happens. All right. Enough of the shenanigans. Let's get to the real reason why we exist here, this podcast, and why we do this. And That's that right. is our guest today. Our featured guest is Tony Meharry. Yeah. And uh, you are the, definitely the one that set this up. So yep. I'll let you start. Um, the main reason we had Tony in here is to talk <clears> about his wife, Amber. She's <clears> battling cancer. Um, big, big benefit coming up at Neil's huge. for them. Huge, huge bands. We discuss all that in the, the episode. Yeah, it's the 29th at Neil's. But there's, you know, we also <clears throat> talked to Tony about Tony because mm-hmm. he's a, he's been here for a long time. He's been playing drums for a long time. He's been in a lot of bands. He's done a lot of things. And uh, um, he's just a great guy. And uh, no political, he, he no political affiliation whatsoever. Tony would never discuss politics. Yeah, that's I'm, why he's, I'm that's, totally kidding. That's why he's in Facebook jail. That's why he's in Facebook jail. He can't do anything on Facebook, so he, he came to us. So let's get the information. <laughs> Niels, yeah. 29th. 29th. We got Area 51. Yep. Formerly known as. You took my sheet. I know. Uh, Amber McCain Band. Yep. Uh, Shotgun Billy or yeah. Billy's? Is Billy's. 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 And then Almost Famous. Yeah, I've never heard of those guys. Yeah. Yeah. They're almost. Almost. That means almost good? Mm-hmm. Is that what that means? No, that all those bands are super. So get out and yeah. support this cause because it is a worthy cause. The, one of the main reasons we do this is to bring awareness to the people who mm-hmm. need help. Yes. And we strategically... Uh, Recorded on this day and had Tony in on this day because mm-hmm. of our production schedule. So that way, uh, as you are listening or watching this on Monday, the 23rd, this Sunday. The next, okay? yeah, the following Sunday. No, the 29th. Right. Right. Well, this is airing on a Monday, so we're going to say this Sunday. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we need that sound. Me and, me and Jeff are trying to figure out how to come up with the sound when we have stupid date timeline issues like that. We and get confused it sometimes. Happens. And again, like I said earlier, it's Monday. I'm yeah. thrown. I should be working, um, right? But I'm having fun here. One stuff. other thing we want to say. Mm-hmm. Neils, we can't say enough about the venues mm-hmm. that do this. They give their time. Yep. They give their facility to these causes, and mm-hmm. no, nobody can do this without that. And the bands that step up. And I mean, the bands that step up and do this. Listen to that lineup. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. You know? So thank you to everybody who's doing that to support Amber. Yes, and, and then people that show up and turn out. Um, it won't be – I would be shocked if that place isn't full yeah. and sold out. So, yeah. And Tony's just a great guy. Mm-hmm. And, man, a storied career. I mean, he yep. has been a workhorse done, for done a lot. decades. So yep. we uh, did have our – a good time talking with Tony. Mm-hmm. And uh, as always, we always enjoy these intros and, and uh, we covered a lot of stuff. Before we play the actual bumper music, which is going to be the original theme stuff, let's get one more listen. I'm going to let this let's. thing rock a little bit. That's pretty good. Yeah. So again, thank you, Sean. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jason Catshaw. Um, this is a blessing to have this song, so we do appreciate it. 
But now, you're going to hear an oldie but a goodie. There it is. So this song was a free song off the YouTube library. Right. I thought it had a cool Memphis vibe to it. Sure. But, uh, so. Not right. quite as cool of a Memphis vibe as the new one. Let's let's shut up and yeah. get to the damn interview, shall let's we? Let's do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, enjoy our uh, interview with Tony Meharry. Thank you, guys. Tony Meharry, thanks for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. So, um, man, good to have you. Uh, once again, uh, someone that uh, I'm meeting through Jeff. So I'm meeting you for the first time. So this is always, it's always oh, yeah. fun to meet someone, in the, you know, five minutes before we record. So <laughs> that's really neat. And um, as we mentioned in the intro, you know, we gave more details on uh, the benefit for your wife, Amber. Um, and we're definitely going to dig into that too here. Okay. Uh, but we thought maybe at the front end, we would talk about Tony okay. and uh, some, of the, some of your history and where you're from and then all the bands that you've played in. So, uh, so. You know, Jeff, where do you want to start? Um, well, are, are you from this area? I'm from this area, yes. Okay. Um, I have m moved before. I moved to uh, Columbus, Mississippi, uh, which is where the Dirt Brothers were from. Okay. And I moved there when I joined the band. Gotcha. And I lived there for three years, four years. Okay. What band was that? The Dirt Brothers. Dirt Brothers. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yep. did, I, did you guys already say that? Yes, we did. You can squirrel <laughs> so, yourself. I mean, we are two minutes in. Edit. And no, 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 no. We keep this stuff. So Man. now two minutes in, you're going to hear one of our resident sounds because I, I, I lost concentration. <laughs> you got to turn that up. And then I do that every time. So I knew about, <laughs> I knew about the Dirt Brothers. Mm -hmm. You don't tell I'm me to shut up. That's too way too early for I'm that. I'm just being a jerk now. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Right. Um, now, I know that band, uh, or I think that band went through a lot of different members. Mm -hmm. When you were in there, who was in the band with you? Uh, this, well, which time? Okay. When I first joined, right. um, Tyler, I can't think of his last name. That's okay. Sorry to he put you guitar. on the spot. Okay. He was a guitar player. Um. Daniel Dwight was the bass oh, player. Okay. okay, yeah. He's coming in yep. down the road. Um, John Hall was the singer. John Boy is what oh. he was called. Okay. And uh, Chad Gatewood was a steel guitar player. Okay, okay. And then I know it, uh, there was another point that you played with Jeff Cobble in that band? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jeff approached me, and he was wanting to get— not not Jeff, um, John Boy. Okay, approached me and said, "Put put together a, a record deal band." Okay, and I said, "Well, I you know I don't want to hurt hurt nobody's feelings." Right, or, and he said, "I don't care." Yeah. So we were having. Man, I don't want to talk bad about anybody. No, well, no, 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 and then you know just. Um, Tyler is, decided to step out. Okay. So I got Chris Gavin. Okay. And then... You can talk as much shit about Cobble as you want. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. Well, Cobble came in after <laughs> Chris. But... Um, so we got um, Jeff Adams come in on the spur of the moment. The day of the thing, I was handing him... Tapes to put in while we were driving to Helen, Arkansas. Yeah. And Jeff nailed it. Jeff is that kind of player. He nailed it. Yeah. Um, he's. Uh, he even had the vocals, backup vocals, everything was there. He's phenomenal. Yeah. And how well, long? Where was the show at again? In Helena, Arkansas. Okay. Helena, Arkansas. It was on New Year's Eve. And how long did you play with Jeff in that band? Jeff, Jeff, came Jeff Adams, after, I mean. Uh, Jeff was in it till the end. Okay. And then uh, it was mm, maybe a year after that, a year or so after that, is when Chris decided he was wanting to leave. He was going to step out. Yeah. And I called Jeff, called Jeff Cobble. Yeah. And he came in, and it 
took off nice. from there. Yeah. Good to hear. We, he's a close friend of ours. We've played a bunch of shows with him with Derek Joseph. It's awesome. Guitar we love player. ribbing and picking on him, but Cobble's a special guy. Yeah. Oh, Cobble. yeah. Yeah, he's been around he, for a, a long time. He's a short bus kind of guy. <laughs> he's a what kind of guy? Short bus. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. No, <laughs> Jeff, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. um, so let's talk about your drumming. Who who were some of your influences? Ooh, John Bonham off the top is my favorite. Who's that? John just, Bonham. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> that's that's usually uh, on every drummer short list. Yeah, <laughs> and. Steve Gadd. It's a good one. Big yep. fan of his. Uh, my favorite drummer <clears throat> right now is probably Abe Laboreal Jr., who's drumming for Paul McCartney. Oh, okay. man. Big black yeah. guy. I mean, he's been with him for, God, now probably 20 plus years now. Yeah. They've man, been together. It's awesome. Yeah. He's got that big sound. Yeah. And he can really, he can capture that Ringo bubbly kind of. Right. Phil's too, you know, he's well, really he just, loose he, back he, there. He's he's a pro. I mean, yeah. he knows when to play and when not to play. And, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and and the better drummers know when not uh, to play. Imagine getting that call. Oh yeah. From Paul McCartney to go on tour with him and be his drummer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all the guys, and he's it was loyal. He's had the same lineup yeah. for yeah. decades now. It's yeah. awesome. All right, spit out another question. I'm letting you take the reins for a minute. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Because I don't know him and you do? No, because I asked all the <laughs> questions yesterday during the interview. I'm going to give you the floor. What do you play? Like, what kind of kit do you play? It's a Tamastar Classic. Okay. It's a really pretty kit. Yeah, do, you, do you go big or simple? Simple. Yeah, so yeah I used to be big. Mm -hmm. got tired of lugging all that around. Yeah. But, uh, the Neil Pert setup. Oh, God. No. Or uh, Peart. With, How with do the, you say his name? With the potato chips and the yeah. salamis hanging off the racks. <laughs> I, I don't need all of that anymore. I have salamis a... hanging off the headstock of my base. <laughs> Is that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been playing? Uh, I'm 60 years old. So, since I was four. Wow. Wow. I've been playing a while. It's been a minute. Since you were four. Damn. You just started banging yeah, on things, didn't you? Well, was it, was you it know, pot and pans? <laughs> well, you know, it's weird. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad was a musician also, and uh, he was a guitar player. And come Christmas time, I got the guitar, and my brother, who was younger, my dad thought, oh, he can just bang on drums, you know. Right. And as we got older, we both had paper routes. Yeah. Well, when he would leave the house, I would go in there and play on his drums, and he would, I didn't know it, but he was playing on my guitar. <laughs> so we just switched. There you go. Now, would you get in trouble if you found out you were playing his drums? No. So you didn't have to make he, sure he the sticks were right back in the same he spot? He couldn't get the hang of it, and then I... Uh. I did, you know, so I put the sticks exactly where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Tony, why is my crash cymbal split in half? What's going on? I didn't do that. Who did yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I always know when my son has been playing my kid at home because he hasn't gotten yet to where he's comfortable having the hi-hat open and working it with his foot. Okay. So if I go in there to play and the hi-hat is cinched down, He's been playing. And he just plays it tight? <laughs> yeah, he just plays he it tight. doesn't leave it a, yeah. have a little wash. No, he hadn't tight. learned that yet. No, he yeah. hadn't got that far yet. I'm working with it's him. It's okay. Yeah, it is. It takes time. It takes time. <laughs> um, R.T. Scott Band. Let's talk about that because I know that's a big deal. Um, you probably did yeah. a lot and saw a lot. Oh, yeah. Give us some info on that. Uh, that band consisted of Steve Engel on guitar from Creed. Uh, James Flynn from Creed was playing bass. Okay. Uh, David Wade was playing keyboards. Um, Buddy Church was the other guitar player. You hear that name so much. But oh Buddy gosh. was so loved and such a huge player. So you played yes. with a couple guys from Creed? Yeah. That's really cool. That's awesome. So what was, the, what was the style of this band? Or, it, I'm, I, did, was, did we miss a band member? I didn't, I didn't want no, to cut no, you no, off. No, 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 that was it. Okay. Well, R.T., he was yeah. a singer. The lead guy. You got to uh, mention him. Oh, yeah. my God, yeah. But, uh, it was weird. On our shirts, we had uh, T-shirts that we sold at shows. It was right. country music with an attitude. Okay. And that's mm -hmm. basically what it was. 
That's awesome. How long did that band go for? Uh, 30 years. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, the, the, the guys from Creed, this is before Creed. Yeah. We, well, oh. no, this was, we're talking about two different Creeds here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You're thinking, yeah. yeah, yeah. This was Southern Creed. The, oh, okay. The okay. real Creed. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're thinking rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, well, Creed was rock and roll. Right. But. Yeah. A Scott Stapp is the one I'm looking yeah. thinking of. Yeah. No, right. it was. Okay. That makes sense. Two yeah. different no. people. But, um, but it was, man. I feel like an idiot now. No, that was Turbo Country. It was. Yeah. It was. And it you guys, cool. you guys on a bus did did all kinds of touring and stuff, or was yeah, it? Yeah, we we toured, but we didn't do the you didn't, bus. Didn't have that luxury bus deal. I, I mean, you. we we toured and all. Um, did it the hard way. We played with John Anderson. Oh uh, wow! Uh, the same one from Yes, Johnny Rodriguez. <laughs> no, I'm wrong. just I'm just gonna try to get all the names <laughs> wrong here. I knew it wasn't that guy, but I, you know. And you mentioned, I think you mentioned Randy Hauser earlier. Yeah, that you was got, with the Dirt Brothers. That was with the Dirt Brothers. Okay. I, when you said country music with an attitude, I instantly thought Randy Hauser. I yeah. love and I love. Hauser. We're talking about the real Randy Hauser now. Now yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. skittish now. The I want to make sure guy. I get the names right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the one that sings Boots On? Yep. That's right. one. Yes. <laughs> Only one I know of. Redemption. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> that band, it was weird. It went for 20 years, 25 years. And it was constant. I mean, I think I made a hundred thousand one year. Really? Heck yeah. Good that's, for how, you. that's how much we were playing. I Sweet. mean, it's two hundred sixty five was it three hundred and sixty five days a year? Yeah. We played three hundred and sixty four. Oh wow. I mean, it was every night. Just moving. Yeah, we're just moving. It was work. And that will get a band nice and tight. So you guys must have had it to so polished. Oh, it was tight. Yeah. yeah. Very tight. Yeah. Sometimes you can go too far, right? And go into autopilot, and it, it starts <laughs> playing itself, and then, <laughs> well, and then the bass is just well, awful because the guy just actually, keeps making mistakes. I don't know who actually, bass players do that. But. Actually, it's the opposite. You're playing the songs so many times that all of a sudden you have a brain fart, uh -huh. and you're yep. like, oh I, yeah, well, how do I play? What how do I play it? So mm -hmm. I wasn't in a situation like that, but I was in a casino band for about four or five years. So we're playing about. I would say 180, 200 a year, you know, Tuesday through Saturday, one oh, week, yeah. the next week, next week, next week. And me and my drummer at the time used to call it balancing our checkbooks <laughs> <laughs> because I'd be so bored yeah. playing Brick House on a Wednesday night. Yeah. And I'm just thinking of my bills. I'm thinking of <laughs> trying, yeah, I'm trying then, to find something on the TV to watch while and you then play. Clam, big oh, awful yeah. note, and be like, "Ah, oh, damn it!" And then me and I, and he would make a mistake too, and we just look at each other and yeah. pantomime writing a check. Yeah, <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> so what? Uh, what was after uh, the RT Scott Band? Uh, RT Scott Band came a list of just. I was trying to find the right band. Sure. So I was just playing with anybody and everybody. Sure. Simultaneously matter. while also. Yeah, I was doing the Josh Haynes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Josh Haynes. Josh, you're welcome. Yeah. I told Josh that. I said, I used to be where you are. I'm not doing it no more. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I've I, never had the desire to do that. I don't have the brain power to remember to that much and material. I'd, I'd be like, all right, who is this? And what, what songs are we doing now? Yeah. You know, because. Uh. It, I've just was, never I've never been asked to work that much. I maybe oh, I might say man. yes for a minute. Well, that that could be a blessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, yeah. I know that now currently you're in the Amber McCain band. Yes. And that's a modern country. It's uh, mainly it's diva country. Okay. Kinda. Well, you know, but, you got but, Amber but, McCain singing it might as well but, be diva country. We like, also, like Jason Aldean. <laughs> That's yeah. a joke. It's hard to do with Amber singing. <laughs> but we also do um we do rock stuff too. Okay. And what I like about this band is we do our own versions. Yeah. Okay. Of a lot of if it's not one of our songs, we do a version of a cop cover song. Right. And we kind of do our version of it. Well, we've seen people who come in here for an interview get in lots of trouble when they don't mention everybody in the band, Rocco. So you've been doing good so far, so now we so got to yeah. talk about the Amber Tell McCain band. Tell us who all's in Amber McCain band. We know Amber's singing, you're playing drums. Who else we got? Uh, we got Bruce Key on guitar, yep. 
great guitar player. Yep. Uh, Wendell Combs is playing bass. Okay. And Shane Swindell is playing keyboards, guitar, saxophones, utility, sings. utility guy. Yeah, uh, the kind of musician every band wants, and they all uh, they all sing. I yeah. mean, that's that's what puts our band absolutely. Right. I, they, I would put our band up against any band in the city, right? Vocally, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, good vocals and harmonies that yeah. just, that just mean, sets do, everyone apart. We do Fleetwood Mac, <clears throat> sure, and stuff, and. Mm-hmm. We sound as good as, if not better, than Fleetwood Mac. Sure. Well, that's that's I mean, uh, that's, yeah. that's, that's the way to do it. And yeah. That's what I'm discovering as I'm going to more shows and, and meeting all these awesome musicians right. and bands. It's, it's all about the vocals. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're all great musicians. Amazing. Yeah. But, man, when you have just a wall of harmony voicing coming oh, yeah. at you, yep. just you can't replace yeah. that. Yeah. But, you know, we're, <clears throat> we're billed as a country band. But we cross over sure. on a bunch of songs. Mm-hmm. I mean, Amber sings, she'll go from Miranda Lambert to Hart to uh, Carrie Underwood and then Adele. Yeah. And nails it. Sure. I nice. mean, she's, I've never heard her hit a bad note. Right. And how long have you guys been at it together? I've been with them probably four years. And... They've been together probably seven years, okay, something like that. You're a working fool, aren't you? Oh yeah, a nonstop. Oh yeah, that's amazing. That's great. Well, that's what puts puts food on the table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good for yeah, you, man. especially I, right now. I'm yeah. glad I don't have to depend on my drumming to put food on my table. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a hungry son of a gun. I'd weigh a lot less. Yeah, I was fortunate for five years, but the the bass was paying for a lot of alcohol instead. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, I don't deals. consider myself a great drummer. I just consider myself one of many good drummers. Well, this town's full of great musicians, drummers, yeah. every position. But you so, know, and that's weird. Everywhere that I went, out of town playing, when they know that you're from Memphis, they they stop whatever they're doing. Oh, man. And they actually know, pay attention. Yeah, yeah, they start paying attention. That's awesome. But, you know, no one has a resume like you and plays for that amount of time like you for not without not being good. Yeah, you know, and also a professional. I mean, right. for you to be able to have these relationships with these bands for that amount of time, clearly you're a good dude. You show up, you were prepared, put on a good show, right? And uh, that's a well, test- you know, that's I, a testament to you. I met uh, <clears throat> Greg Allman in Pensacola, Florida, and he was playing piano in the piano bar. And I walked through, and I was like, "Man, that's an Allman Brothers song." And went around the corner, and I told him, <laughs> "I said, y'all go ahead," and I sat down. Right beside Greg Allman, and he was playing, and he just told me, he said, the best advice he ever gave me, he said, play with anybody and everybody you can, and he said, know when to play and when not to play. Mm -hmm. He said, a lot of times, the best note that you played was one you didn't play. Right. Yeah, the the feel is in between the notes. Yeah, the air moves the song. Yes. Yeah. 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 David Gilmore's classic example of oh yeah an amazing p- player songwriter everything yeah. but his solos are spacey you know yeah, and right. the emotion is yeah, it's in not between the those of notes. The bumblebee, you know, right. Right. Yeah, I Cobble. was like, I caught the first <laughs> Jeff Cobble. <laughs> <laughs> I caught the first one and the last note. All that in between, it went right over my head. Yeah, I love you, Cobble. You know that. <laughs> I wasn't even going to go there without. Oh, one. it's Jeff Cobble. No, no. Come on. I've been playing with. Well, him. we had to. In the Dirt Brothers, we had to slow him down. Yeah. You know, See, we yeah. just said, Jeff, <laughs> we know you can play. There's going to be a time in the show where you can play, but we need you to play like this. Yeah. You know, no names will be mentioned, but uh, I, I f- filled in and helped the band out at Fitzgerald's several years ago. And then they had a fill in drummer from Nashville. And, um, when a drummer puts in triplets and brown eyed girl, <laughs> something's up. <laughs> And it was a full night of that. <laughs> it was rough. That's why you have no hair left right there. <laughs> so should we, are there any more bands or anything you'd like to talk about? Or can we now, you know, bridge to the sure to the benefit? We can bridge to the benefit. That's let's, most important. Yes. Let's, let's talk about your wife. Okay. Tell us tell us uh, everything you, you want to tell us about, uh, about your wife. She's the love of my life. And 
unfortunately, a few years ago, she was working in Hawaii. And she called me and, you know, I knew something was wrong. And she says, I got cancer. And I was actually scheduled to fly out there and going to spend, you know, a couple of weeks out there. And I told her, I said, well, come home. And she goes, well, what about the trip? I said, I don't care about the trip. I said, come home. We got to get this taken care of. Right. So we've been going through that for about three, three and a half years. Okay. And she had triple negative breast cancer. And and on top of that, she had stage four uh, cervical mm. at the same time. So. And how did, like. Uh, how did she find out? She she was not feeling well. Went to the doctors and then ran tests. Or it's she had a a lump in one of her breasts, and we would we had known it was there for a while. And she said, "Now oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get that taken care of later." Yeah. And when she got out to Hawaii, she just felt you know I need to check into this. Yeah. And she did, and that's how we discovered it. Well, your wife's name is Amber mm-hmm. Harry, and um, we we love you, Amber. We're all praying for you, um, but we know now there's a there's a benefit that's coming up mm-hmm. to help you guys out. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's at Neal's. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, if you want to tell us some about that, um, or I can do it, whatever, however you want to do it. I got notes here as far as the date and the <clears throat> bands. That well, are let's in. throw out the date before the story. So okay. it is uh, the 29th at Neal's. So as our audience is listening or watching this. It is Monday the 23rd. So we placed it strategically for this reason. So that way your benefit, as anyone's listening to this, is in like six days. Right. Sunday yeah. at, the, at, at Sunday. Neil's. Mm-hmm. And we got Area 51, formerly known as Amber McCain Band, Shotgun Billies, and Almost Famous. Right. I mean, and that's it? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> well, <clears throat> they probably don't know this, but... Uh, Ricky Lee Phelps yep. was supposed to be coming, and I got a call early this morning, <clears throat> and his dad took a turn for the worse, and so he's having to go to Nashville to be with him. Okay. And also, I want to shout out prayers and all for his him and his dad, his Absolutely. family, mm-hmm. and all. So. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so he is, won't be there. Okay. Well, and look, that's— He's a health emergency in his family. Totally mm-hmm. understandable. We get that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but this is a great lineup of bands. Um, guys, we, Derek and I started doing this for a reason. Mm-hmm. We wanted to help this community, and we wanted to, anytime something like this is happening, we want people to call us and say, hey, can you guys help get the word out? And that's what we're doing. Go support this man and his wife. This, this they, they, that Tony has been doing this in the Memphis music community for a long time. I've known him for a long time. He's he's done things for me in the past that helped me, and uh, and I want to help them. And uh, so get out and support this cause, and uh, and help these guys out. Is Amber well enough to be there? Will she be? Uh, We're hoping at the gig? that uh, <clears throat> if she's if she is, she'll be there just for a small time. Sure, and then understandable. I got to figure out something how to get her home. <laughs> yeah. And by all means, if this is a question that you don't want to answer based on your, your wife's health, just let me know. Yeah, you know, no, but is she, what kind of treatment is she on? Is she on chemo right she's now? She's doing chemo right now. <clears throat> she don't have to do radiation anymore, but okay. she's on treatment 46. Wow. Of, radi- of uh, chemo. And, and that's got us at her. That's I mean, it's got to be a taking drain. its toll. It's, yeah. it's tough, and right now she's uh, she's pretty much confined to the bed. She can get up and move around, right, and all. But here lately, she hadn't been able to to get up near as much. Yeah. So, I've had to quit my job, right, and just take care of her full time. So, mm-hmm. well, God bless you. For yeah. doing that, I know this has uh, been got to be hard on your family, um, yeah. but we want to help you with this, and we we um, we just want people to get out and support this thing. And the the level of bands and musicians that are a part of this is got to be a testament to you, 
They're, yeah. they're stepping yeah. up for you in a big way. Yeah, some I, heavy hitters there. Yeah, right. I've really appreciated all of them. I mean, yeah. they they really stepped up, and I, I, yeah. I can't thank them enough. And yeah. it's weird. You know, I've been on the other end of benefits mm-hmm. forever. Countless times. And yeah. when you have one for yourself, it's just kind of humbling. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know? sure. I bet. And you really appreciate, you know. What time does it start? It starts, uh, they wanted to start at three, but I know that Sean and and Josh and them have gigs, so I asked them to move it back to two. Okay. So it'll be from two to nine, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's packing. And I know we'll have an an interview that we do here that day, but I have every intention of Mm -hmm. going when we finish here. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much of this I'll be able to catch, Mm -hmm. but uh, as soon as I'm done here, Mm -hmm. I'm going to head that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, where do we go from here? Like, you still just playing with Amber McCain? Is oh, this yeah. the only gig you got going on right now? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, last year um, we won a uh, the first annual Tommy Awards for the yeah Lafayette's at Lafayette's. Yeah. We won it for the best. We were up for we were nominated for a best country band, and okay. we actually won it. Okay. And good job, since, sir. Since then. Busy. I mean, yeah. I mean, our our monies went up. Really, our gigs went up. I mean, Amber doesn't have to call anybody for a gig. Yeah, awesome. Now they're calling her. And, That's awesome. And you know, what, does she have an agent? She, where she's been working with an agency does it, company? Does it by herself? So just throw, throwing that on that resume really mm-hmm. give you guys a good bump. Oh yeah, awesome. Right. That's great. <clears throat> and Sean Few, I believe, hosts. Did he host the Tommy Awards? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think he's doing it again this year, and he said something to me about maybe the rhythm section being there. I wonder if there's a new best podcast category. I don't know, but if there is, <laughs> we'll win it. <laughs> so, um, But actually, <clears throat> I, was, I was hoping this year, if they do it, I was wanting to see them have a category for – Bands like the Fast Mothers. Oh, original. And all that play Fever all of their own. Absolutely. You know. Okay, so there's not an, any original artist category? Th- there's, I mean, Amber McCain, we play yeah, kind a of mixture. best of both worlds. Right. You know, we mix original in. With, sure. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would like to see an uh, all original category. Yeah, all I'm, original category. I think that is a stellar idea. Yeah. yeah. I can already think of a bunch of nominees right now. Absolutely. Right? Oh yeah, there's a bunch <laughs> of them out there. And yeah. yeah. Believe me, back in the day, when I was in Looker, which was way back, that's all we played was our own. Yeah. And we did great. We played mm-hmm. everywhere. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, with Derek Joseph, we pepper in some of his originals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's not an all original. Yeah. No. Band. Right. You know, my casino years, I played with the same artist. She would throw in originals here and there. Mm-hmm. It's always nice sell some CDs yeah. on the side. But in order to pay the bills, we had yeah. to play <laughs> Brick House Bro, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Tony looked straight down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Those songs I refuse to play. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. <clears throat> like Brown Eyed Girl with Triplets. Mm. Yeah. It was brutal. <laughs> Not going to do it. It was hilarious, actually. It was kind of funny, but I was like, man, come on now. Yeah. Um, anything we're missing that you want to talk about and touch on? I believe that's it. Um, please come out and see us. We're playing this Saturday. Okay, yeah. Or this Friday, excuse me. Well, that's they're not going to hear this until mm-hmm. that's yeah. already happened. Yeah. Yeah, well, so, so, never you, mind. We can so, do that. We, we'll do that in the intro. S- record scratch. Maybe. So how'd the gig go? Did it go okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. But we're playing deals Friday. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. It's Friday. Uh, yeah, yeah, we call it the time continuum, you know, like from Back to the Future. Podcasting is never, it's hard to be like totally current. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're fi- having to think dates like, okay, we're recording on this date, but it's going to air on this date. So we yeah. can't talk about these things because they've already happened. Right. You know, so. And it does make it. And someone tough. told me that you uh, uh, you made some a bunch of mistakes and just, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I believe it, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm not perfect by no means. Regardless of timeline, where is it? Like what, where, what, okay, let's go this. What kind of places do you play? What are some of the venues that you play? Neil's, uh, Lafayette's, uh, we do a lot of fairs, festivals. Um, so you're probably a lot busier in the summertime? 
Yeah. yeah. Spring and summer, it's real busy, but it's it's weird. Right now, we've kind of picked up. We've got a lot of casino gigs. Right. You know, we we go to Vicksburg and play. Very cool. Uh, you know, we've we've been lucky. That's well, awesome. look, I'll, I'll throw a venue out to you that you guys should try to play, and it's our favorite. It's the, basically the only local venue we played last year, and that was Sidecar South Haven. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've, all, they've got the PA already. They've we got played the lights Sidecar already. when they were outside. Yeah. When they do it outside. Out at Memphis. We've, we've done that. Okay. We've done that, too. But, Jay, y'all get down to South Haven and try to try to book there. That'd be, yeah. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. We, we enjoy that place. We do got uh, the 10th inning, Okay, I believe, mm-hmm. we're playing that's in there. South Haven. Yeah. That's that's coming up. Okay, um, cool. We play all of these small towns have the right have those nights where they have bands, mm-hmm. well, music night or whatever. I do know that you're in Facebook jail, <laughs> so that's you, right. you can't you can't say all this stuff on Facebook. But you've got my number, so text me some dates. Okay. Derek and I will get out to see the Amber McCain band. That's another one that we want to spend our time yeah. getting, getting to see. Add it to the list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's all yeah. so many. And stop so many bands to go stop see. It's, pissing it's, off so many people on Facebook, Tony. Well, it, well, it's weird, you know. <laughs> people come and see us, and they'll go, "Oh my gosh, you know, I didn't didn't know y'all were playing." Right. And I mm-hmm. was like, "Going, <laughs> I'm in jail, y'all. <laughs> Facebook <laughs> jail." <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, Tony, before we wrap things up, let's talk about uh, studio time. Have you guys done any recording? Oh yes, mm-hmm. uh, we recorded five songs that were sent to us from. Jamie Floyd in Nashville, and we recorded those, and I mean, great songs, great yeah. songs. And um, where, where did you do, do the recordings? Where did you track? It sounds unreal. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think it's called something else now, but <laughs> that's okay. It's all right. It's all right. No worries. It's but anyway, yeah. we recorded those songs while we were done, and we still had some time left over, and. Uh, Amber said, "Let's can we record Wicked Game because we do it right a little different." Than sure, from Chris Isaac, 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 Chris yeah. Isaac, Chris yeah. Isaac, yeah, a great song. So oh. we did it, and we did it in one take. Awesome, I and, mean, and you sang right? Oh yeah, they won't let me sing. <laughs> they keep saying no, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very. Are, are these recordings available to the public? Yes, they're on uh, Spotify. Any anywhere you can download music, okay. they're on there. And the, the, the all five of those songs are available. Mm-hmm. What about the Wicked Game? That's available? it's on there also. Sweet. Um, you, it, briefly, you had mentioned some of the writers off mic here. Want to repeat? Like, tell the audience some of the writers behind these songs uh, and who they've written for. Mm-hmm. Some Jamie wrote for um, who did I? Uh, uh, Carrie Underwood was Carrie one you Underwood, mentioned. I think. Um, uh, Miranda Lambert, yeah. Yeah. Lady Annabella. I okay. mean, it's pretty, pretty, big, pretty big names. Yeah, That's great. And I believe she, her whole soundtrack that she did was on that Burt Reynolds. It's the last movie. Oh, okay. Uh, Not where familiar. he was an he was an actor or something. She mm. she had. The whole soundtrack. Okay. On it nice. Was but, Jamie Floyd. And if somebody wants to look these up on the streaming platforms, they just look up Amber McCain or Amber McCain Band. Amber McCain Band. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Awesome, man. Well, look, one more plug here. Let's talk about Neil's. Uh, it's the 29th. Yep. Uh, for Amber Meharry. Yes. And uh, we got Area 51, formerly known as Amber McCain Band, Shotgun Billies, and Almost Famous. Yeah. Wow. That's and you'll get to see up. Tony play drums. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they they do a couple of thrash metal songs, I think. <laughs> we do a country version of Anthrax. <laughs> oh, the, the, all right, there we go. So, Well, cool. Uh, as we mentioned in the, in, uh, the intro, we have some new music here. So I want to give some credit again here in the back end. We got uh, this. We were gifted this from Sean Few. Again, thank you so much, Sean. This is uh, Sean on guitars and bass, and Jimmy Falp on drums, produced and engineered by Jason, is it Latshaw? Yep. Latishaw. Latishaw, <clears throat> and uh, I don't want to miss anyone. Uh, American yeah. Studios yeah. recorded. So thanks so much, Sean, for sending this our way. This and, is our and new Jimmy. Team. And Jimmy, thanks for that. And um, thanks for letting me edit a little bit, and make it yeah. longer, you yeah. know. But uh, awesome. So, I mean, listen to that. It's, it's kicking. 
Yeah, yeah. good stuff. So We're proud of that. All right, Jeff, where can uh, people go to find this craziness? Uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, which is our preferred method of watching this show, uh, and Spotify, mm -hmm. uh, Stitcher, and Apple. Facebook and YouTube, full videos posted every Monday at 6 p.m. Central. Yep. That's when you'll get... Uh, the new episodes in the morning time on platforms like Apple and Spotify. Plus, yeah. throughout the whole week, we've released clips. Yeah. So as you're watching this uh, with Tony, for the next five or six days, we're going to be throwing up some different clips and stuff. So yeah. um, to give you a little extra love, it'll be Tony week. Yes, <laughs> it will be. That's right. ShelbyRoadProductions.com, sign up for that free consultation. Click our link tree. Go to our Patreon, dollar a month, tip jar tier. Help us out. It will, it. Every bit helps. And uh, that's it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Tony, thank you for joining us today. That thank is Jeff. That's Derek. All right, y'all. Take care now. Have a Thanks, good day. Thanks, everybody.